it's, it's the game that everybody looks forward to in youth football, um, the involvement in, in the Youth Cup and a big game to boost as well with, with Sunderland coming to Vicarage on how much you're looking forward to it. Yeah really, um, obviously for me personally it's good because it's one of my old clubs that I played for but you know, take that out of the equation and it's about you know the lads going and performing. It's like, the lads build it up as you know, the be all and end all for the season. It's something that uh, you know they get to play on Vicarage Road, which is really nice. But um, you know, we, we, we try not to build it up because it takes a lot of their you know enthusiasm out of it. And it's, we've got to we've got to really enjoy the day. Um, you know, Sunderland are Category One. They they play against all the the top teams week in and week out, so they'll probably be a little bit more used to it. Um, but we're we're confident we can go out and perform well. Reece, big day on Sunday. Um, how much are you and the lads looking forward to it? Uh, we can't wait to get on the pitch, hopefully perform, uh, get through to the next round. It's a big stage, obviously it's only one time a year the Youth Cup comes round, so we want to stay in it as long as we can and hopefully perform as well as we can. Because of the game we brought them in two days between Christmas and New Year where uh, <laughs> really they were off. Um, you know, it's a time for them to go home, some of them are away from their families, you know, we've got lads from Scotland and Ireland and things, so, um, you know, it's time for them to go home, but uh, we had to call them back in and they've come back in and they've, they've trained on the 28th and 29th and then we give them the, the next few days off and then they've had this week from the 2nd onwards, so there's been reasonable preparation, but probably not ideal for the, the you know, the, the size of the game, but uh, we'll go out there and perform to the best of our ability. Uh, well, we've been having to run a lot. Just to just get up, uh, keep up the fitness, you know. Um, but I feel like we're ready. Um, the run of game before, when we beat uh, top Crystal Palace, um, just went on a good running, good run. So hopefully we keep that going, keep performances up, and don't let the, the the break affect us. We're in a development area, so it's about their development, and this is part of it about going and playing in the stadium. Um, so that's the first question that we'd be asking them: How do they deal with it? Um, are they going to manage to go and, and cope with that situation? And then after that, we've got to go and uh, perform as well. So if they perform well, then you know we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. But as I said before, if, if the game gets ahead of you, gets on top of you, and then nerves get in the way, your performance might dip a bit. So keep a level head, and then celebrate afterwards after we win. On Sunday, it's after the you know the first team play Bristol City, so it's like it's a real tough one in the sense of you know people are all weekend of football. But if you're a Watford supporter and you want to come along, you know please do and support the lads there. They'll enjoy that. Um, you know if there's a few people there getting behind them, it does help them. Um, but uh, you know they're going to have to go out there and make their own atmosphere, the boys, and um, you know they'll certainly hear me shouting and encouraging them. But uh, it's uh, you know it, it is a, it's a good day for the boys, you know, and their families to come along and. You know, I've had highs and lows in the FA Cup, uh, FA Youth Cup myself. So it's uh, it's a it's a good one to when it's good, but it's a horrible one when it's not.